Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing? It's cold here, very cold, cold and gray. Um, I had people want me to do another video. I wasn't gonna do it, but then I decided, eh, why not? Okay, so I went to an estate sale the other day and I picked up some items for a total of $4.50. Um, I've already sold one of the items, so I really can't show you what they are. Um, it was a Funtronics vintage game called Jax. Um, I paid 50 cents for it. I listed it on eBay. And amazingly, within 11 hours, I sold it for $79.95. And with all shipping and fees and everything, um, cost of the item, everything, um, I profited $66.51. Not too shabby. So, um, there's definitely money to be made. Um, eBay, Amazon, Etsy. Um, I've even sold some stuff I'll let go. But, uh, the other items that I got from the estate sale, I got four of these. Um, I actually didn't even know what they were at the sale. I was like, what are these things? So I asked the lady and she said they are silverware holders. So, yeah, I can see that. I mean, you put the handle through here, and you set them in, you set them on the table. Well, I have a set of four of them, and they're vintage, so I'm trying to decide. I haven't listed them yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to list them on Etsy or eBay, because they'll sell on either one. But I'm hearing a lot of good things about Etsy, about their vintage um, sales. People are doing very well. So I got those. And then I got this. I paid 50 cents for this. Um, I really, I call it a vintage green dish. Um, I found it on eBay. I found the same exact one. And it's either a candy dish, a goblet, um, or just a vintage dish. But regardless, it's on eBay. Um, it's actually really pretty. I like it. Um, there is a bubble right there, which is in the glass, so there's a few bubbles actually. But we'll see what happens. Um, I got these really cool glasses. They got the heavy thick bottoms. I need to clean them up, they're kind of dirty. But it's got like the open window on one side, and then it's got a really cute... I don't know how good you can see it, but it's a little scene and it's got a horse and buggy. Can you see that? Is that better? Got a ho There's the horse and buggy. Cute house. Barn in the back with the fence. That's like my dream home. Um, set of four of those. Those are vintage. I'm still debating on those, whether they're going to go on eBay or Etsy. And then, one second. I have Scribbage which is another vintage game. Now this one, everything's in here, but it's not sealed. Now I, I forgot to mention that Jack's game that I got was still sealed from 1979. It's probably why I sold it for $79. Um, so I got that. And the last item I got to show you is this cute little, it's a little jug. It's got a cork on the top. It's got an old cork. It probably needs a new one, but it's old. It's it's cute. It's got like cafe, um, het cafe, cafe la cafe. I think it's French. Rana, Rora, Rawa, oh cafe. It's got some cute little. It's got words on it. I think it's French. Refes. I don't know, but it's kind of neat. I haven't found one like it, and it looks handcrafted because it's not perfect. So I'm thinking this is an old handcrafted piece, and the top actually is like a little spout, so it's almost like a coffee pitcher, maybe? I don't know, but those are the items that I got. I don't even know where to set it. I don't want it to fall. Those are the items that I got at an estate sale, and I literally paid... $4.50 for all of them, and like I said, I have already sold Jax, the game that was um, factory sealed. In fact, I just sent it out today, and it's going to California, but 
it is on its way to Japan. So it's got to go through a custom. Here is, I don't know. Can you see that? Thing on lighting does not want to work with me today. So it's a Funtronics electronic game called Jax. And like I said, I listed it and within 11 hours it was gone. I listed it at $79.95. I figured I'll accept best offers. And if it doesn't sell, I'll lower it. And literally within 11 hours, boom, it was gone full price. So I was like, wow. So this stuff does work. Um, I've had people ask me what got you started on eBay. And I gotta say, um, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. Um, Rake and Profit, Rockstar Flipper, Craigslist Hunter, um, Prop Sales, and Ask Karin. Um, Mike, Global, Ugh. sorry, there's probably 10 different follow people that I follow. Um, I've learned a ton, ton of information. Um, my biggest downfall is organization and I'm working on it. Um, I have things all over the place to sell and none of it's organized. So I just started today reorganizing my stuff because it's not going to do me any good if it's not listed. And if it's not organized, I'm not going to list it because it's going to take me forever to get it going. So what I started to do actually is I started to label totes. It's got A3 on it for e in eBay. And I actually started pre-packaging my clothes. I have cats. I don't know if you know others have animals and you deal with the fur it drives me crazy I love my animals but I hate the fur and I'll rewash and stuff and I'll wash stuff I'll say okay this is to sell this is to put away blah 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 this is to donate by the time I get around to it I'm rewashing the dog on thing three or four times so I decided you know what nope I'm gonna wash a few things at a time I'm going to take pictures of it as it comes out, I'm going to measure it, and I'm going to package it. So I have the item number on it, and I also have how much it weighs. Can you see that? Six ounces. So I have the item number, the last two numbers is the tote number, and then the weight. So that way, when I go to do the listing, um, I don't have to deal with this anymore. It's done, it's put away, it's clean and safe. Kitties cannot get fur on them no more. And I don't have to rewash them. It's done. I'm done. It, this is it. It's exciting. I finally have a system. Yay. Um, I have seen where people will prepackage like that. And I've also seen where people will not. So it's a matter of choice. Whatever's easier for you. But for me, with the cat, I have got to get this stuff packaged and put away. I'm tired of rewashing things. I'm going to end up getting frustrated because I spend so much time washing things, then it's then it's worth and then I'm going to be like, I don't want to do this anymore. But no, there's a ton of money to be made. Um, I sell strictly books on Amazon. Um, not as much as I used to either. I used to just list anything I could. And I ended up pulling them all because they were raising the fees, so I brought everything home and then I realized I don't have room for all this. So I am now doing Amazon FBA again, and I actually have a box next to me that's ready to go out. Excuse me. With 43 books. Um, I'm going to try FBA again with books. Um, I sell on eBay, sell a variety of things, and I sell on Etsy. And Etsy, I'm just getting going again. I haven't done it for so long. But my eBay store is Bits and Pieces for You. It's B-I-T-Z and... A N D pieces P I E C E S for F O R U. Um, that's my store name, Bits and Pieces for You. We donate 10% of all of our profits to the ASPCA, so it's always for charity. Um, we have a one day handling time. Um, if it's early in the morning, it is possible that I can get it out the same day. It just depends on what I'm doing. Um, 
so I just allow one day handling time that gives me plenty of time to get it done and it'll be out so but it's exciting it's fun um, there's nothing like being your own boss I've had jobs um, I've had a few jobs some I've liked some I haven't but all in all you are restricted and you can only make what they're willing to pay you when you're selling on eBay skies are the limits right now my sales are low because I'm just getting it rolling but there are people that make six-figure incomes some even more selling so I don't have a warehouse I don't have employees I just do it all on my own right now well I I hope to I really do um, I say um a lot don't I mm. not good at videos not very good at videos at all and the lighting behind me sucks because we had to take the curtains down to put them on our back door because people like to look in the back door. So I need to get new curtains behind me. Um, so anyway, all in all, um, estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, free cycle. Nah, I wouldn't do free cycle. Forget I said that. Um, Craigslist, sometimes you can find free things. Um, eBay, you can... Sometimes you can get things really cheap and turn around and flip them. Thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. I've had the best luck at estate sales. Because usually estate sales, um, unfortunately, a lot of them are due to death. They can be very sad to walk into. But don't do what I do. Don't get guilty. Just think you're giving them the price they want for things. They're having that for a reason don't feel bad for being there they have to get rid of the stuff um, death in the family moving into a nursing home or you know something along them lines but most of it a lot of it has vintage stuff and this vintage stuff you can sell it you can sell it on you can actually sell vintage stuff on Amazon too but I don't care to um, Amazon, eBay, Etsy. Right now I'm betting on Etsy as being one of the better ones. Um, you can also you can also have a booth in an antique mall. Um, yeah, you can make your own website. But being on these big pa platforms like eBay and Amazon and Etsy, you know, you've already got the traffic. It's fantastic. So uh, if you have any questions, comment below and. I will get back to you as soon as I can and I'm going to try to make another video more specific. This is kind of a general, hey I'm back, this is what I'm doing. So um, hope everybody's staying warm and for you down south, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, that's it for now. See ya.